Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and today I'm gonna to show you the Primo Ceramic Grills. So the Primo products are ceramic grills that are classified as a Kamado cooker. So with these ceramic grills, they allow you to do everything. You could smoke, you could roast, you could grill, you could bake, any way you like to cook, you can cook in these types of grills. Now there's a lot of different models out on the market today, but the Primo is the only model that's made here in the US. The Primo grills are available in four different sizes. So today we're looking at the Primo Oval XL. Next to it, we have the Primo Oval Large. They even offer a portable Oval Junior unit and a round all-in-one model as well. One of the distinguishing features on the Primo grills is the oval design. What's nice about the oval design is it allows you to put full racks of ribs, full packer briskets, just large pieces of meat all on one unit without having to cut that meat in half. There are some units out there where you can't fit a full rack of ribs, but with the oval design, you can do it. So you might be asking yourself, why cook on a ceramic grill? Well, ceramics do a great job of locking in heat, and they also do a great job of locking in moisture. Generally, when you're cooking on a ceramic grill like this, you're gonna get much more juicy cuts of steak and just meat in general because of the moisture being trapped inside because of the ceramics. Also, temperature control is incredible with the ceramic. It's all dependent on airflow. So in order to increase the temperature of the grill, you're gonna open your vents. So you have a top vent here that can be adjusted. You could open it up all the way as you see here. You also have a bottom vent. So these vents can be adjusted to help manipulate your temperature. The more open the vents are, the greater the airflow, the higher the temperature. Now when you're smoking and you want the temperature of the grill to be on a lower temperature, like a 200 degree mark, you're gonna close those vents off and that's gonna give you less airflow to keep that temperature down. So the Primo grill runs off of charcoal. Charcoal is gonna be your main fuel source. If you want a grill, simply load the unit up with charcoal, set your temperature, and away you go. When you wanna smoke, you'll load the grill up with the charcoal and then you'll throw your wood chunks or your wood chips to add that smoke flavor. Generally, a chunk of wood is gonna last you a couple hours so you get really good smoke out of this. Gas grills and pellet grills are convenient these days and they're very popular. But cooking with charcoal just gives you flavor that you're not gonna get with any other grill. When you're using charcoal and using actual lump hardwood, the flavor that you get is unlike anything else. On the Primo, they've made it really easy to load the unit up with charcoal to manipulate your temperature and get excellent results every time. Let me take you inside the Primo smoker to show you how to set it up for grilling and smoking. One of the convenient design features behind the Primo grill comes down to the oval grates here. So everything is also broken up into two parts. So you have your grates here that have the oval design to them, and then you also have your heat deflectors. These are ceramic heat deflectors that allow you to use the grill for smoking and roasting. When you want to smoke, you'll set the deflectors in, as you see here, and then put the grate on top. This creates an indirect cooking system that gives you nothing but good smoke flavor. There are multiple configurations when setting up your Primo smoker. We saw how you could set it up for smoking and roasting by placing both of your heat deflectors in the unit. You could also set it up to where you can cook indirect on one side and then sear steaks on the other side, making it really nice to sear a steak and make a baked potato all at the same time on your grill. Very, very impressive. And finally, to set the Primo up for direct grilling, you'll simply remove both of the deflector plates, place in the regular cooking grates, and set the temperature of your cooker. Now, the temperature range on these Primo smokers goes down to 200 degrees and up over 800 degrees. That's right, it's excellent for searing, so it's a great grill as well as a smoker. All right, so let me show you how easy it is to set up your Primo for cooking. So what we have here is one of our demo units. So we cooked on this a couple nights ago. So there's still some leftover charcoal from our previous cook in here. But what you wanna do before you start it again is you wanna mix your ash around. There's a charcoal grate on the bottom here that all the fine pieces of ash and charcoal will fall through. So you want that to fall down through because it's all about the airflow with these, right? So you're gonna mix that around. And that looks pretty good. So that's uh, most of the small pieces have fallen down through the bottom. And then this here is the ash tool. So it makes it really easy to clean out the cooker. All right, so I got my ash tool, I got a box. So the easiest thing to do, just kneel down here, put your box right underneath the base of the cooker itself, and then just use your tool to scrape out all that ash. This is gonna free up some air space for us in there so we get nice consistent temperature and consistent lighting. Really easy just to throw away a box, you know, at the end of this. So um, little step, but goes a long way when starting this thing up. All right, so our firebox now is ready for us to add more charcoal to the unit. So all you do, take your charcoal, just pour it in from the top. So you wanna add just enough to get you through your cook. So it just kinda depends on, you know, if you're smoking or grilling. Uh, for our purposes today, we're just gonna be grilling uh, some chicken here for lunch. So that's gonna be enough charcoal. In fact, we'll have some charcoal left over by the time the cook's over. Another benefit to Primo's oval design is the charcoal divider. So this divider will actually sit in the center of the cooker itself and allows you to 
put charcoal on either side of it or bank all your charcoal on one side so you have a direct cooking space in one area and an indirect space in the other. So cooking with a Primo grill, you want to use a good lump charcoal. So the charcoal we have here today is a hardwood lump charcoal. It's a mix of oak and hickory. So you're not going to get any off flavors or anything. It's very, very clean burning. Um, when it comes to lighting the charcoal, there are different options for lighting them. Today, we're going to use a little boom fire starter here. These are really cheap. You put them in, you light them, get your charcoal lit in about 15 minutes. So let me show you how that's done. When lighting the charcoal on a Primo smoker, you definitely don't want to use lighter fluid. Lighter fluid contains a lot of chemicals that produce off flavors within the ceramics, and that flavor then gets transferred to your, your food, and we don't want that. So use a natural fire starter and get natural tasting food. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, we have a really nice charcoal bed here lit. What I like to do at this point is just kind of mix the charcoal around a little bit, because obviously a lot of that heat is centrally uh, located inside the cooker right now. Okay, so we got a nice lit charcoal bed here now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can add wood in here to create some smoke uh, flavor from this. Uh, for the chicken that I'm doing today, I'm not gonna add a ton of wood, but I will add one block here. So what you wanna do is just kinda nestle that right down into your fire there. That's gonna light, that's gonna start combusting. You're gonna get some really nice clean smoke out of that. It's gonna add some great flavor. All right, so that wood is going here now. So we're gonna close this up. You're gonna start to see that smoke come out of the uh, smokestack here at the top and uh, we're gonna get some awesome flavor from that. Okay, so this is lit. We have our wood in there. Everything's smoking. It's starting to smell really nice. So one thing we wanna do now is set up our vents for our temperature. So you see on the temperature gauge here now, it's reading about 350 degrees. That's just gonna keep climbing because we have so much oxygen flowing through this right now. So what I wanna do when I'm grilling is set it, uh, and actually we're about where I want it to be. Uh, on a three at the top is a good spot. And then on the bottom here, I'll open this up just a little bit. Um, that's gonna help with the airflow. You know, one of the things with the Primo smokers is the more that you use them, the more that you're gonna dial in how to set your temperature. So uh, just use it a few times and you'll see where the settings on the vents will get you temperature-wise. So I like where we're at right now. That's gonna get us up over 400 degrees here, which is where we're gonna wanna be for the chicken we're cooking. Uh, so now let's set up the grates. Okay, so charcoal's lit. Temperature is about where we want it to be. It's almost there. What you wanna do now is you wanna set up the grates. So we open this thing back up here. Like I said, we're grilling, so we're not putting in our dividers or our heat deflectors. We're just gonna put in the, the main cooking grates like so. All right, so we're set up here. So really the only thing you need to monitor at this point is your temperature. And if you do want that temperature to, to if it starts getting away from you, the temperature gets too high, you could adjust the vent, you know, close this down a little bit. That's gonna obviously eliminate or reduce the airflow that you're getting, which will reduce that temperature. And then when you're done cooking, this is a really nice feature on the Primo grills. You'll actually just close the vents down completely and that will shut down the oxygen flow. And once that's shut down, this will snuff out. The fire will snuff out, this will go out, and you'll have charcoal left over for a cook for the next night. All right, so let's say you want to reverse sear on your Primo unit. You set the unit for 200 degrees, you throw your tri-tip on for about an hour, takes in all that flavor, it's awesome. Then you need to jack up the temperature to a searing temperature of 600, 700 degrees. In order to do that quickly, all you have to do on the top is just push this all the way open, and that opens up the whole control tower top there maximizing airflow and popping that temperature up very quickly. There's one point I wanna make when it comes to safety on the Primo grills. We're talking about a grill that's gonna get upwards of 600, 700, sometimes 800 degrees. So what'll happen is you can get a bit of a blowback of flame when you introduce oxygen by lifting the hood. So one safety tip is what they call burping the Primo. So what you do is you open it up ever so slightly to introduce some oxygen. You close it and then you open it up all the way. This will prevent a ball of fire from coming at your face. All right, so we've talked about all the features and the capabilities of the Primo cookers. We've talked about smoking, grilling, roasting, searing, all the things you could do on it. Primo recently came out with a rotisserie attachment, which allows you to rotisserie prime rib, turkey, beef tenderloin, anything you want in your Primo cooker. The benefits of cooking with a rotisserie in a Primo cooker is you have the meat spinning over the hot coals. Fast smoke produces incredible flavor, so cooking with a rotisserie on your Primo smoker is a great method of cooking. Let me show you how you set this up. It's very, very simple. So we got our cooker going now. All you do is drop this in the back part of the unit. Then you grab your rotisserie rod, you drop it in the motor, and you close the lid. The rotisserie is just one more way you can cook on your Primo grill. 
All right, guys, so you saw all of the features of the Primo ceramic grills. You saw the process of cleaning it out, lighting the charcoal, setting your temperatures. You see all the different configurations that you can cook on the units. Uh, we're a huge fan of the Primo grills here. It's truly one of the most versatile cookers on the market today, and there's really not another option that's gonna give you as much flexibility cooking-wise and flavor as the Primo grills. That Primo grill is pretty incredible. If you liked that video, hit the like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertainment.